Also, in, in other toilet-related stories, apparently I gave my dog pink eye when I farted in her face while I was sleeping. So, that's fun. <laughs> and welcome back to another Linux Themecast Weekly. The show covers the latest Linux theme news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vince Stone, here to tell you the actual in beautiful downtown Athens, Georgia. Coming to you live with a man up north, you know him, you love him. Check him out. That is Jordan Svang. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. With a little Optimus action in the background. And the man stayed up late past his bedtime from the mysterious isles, nowhere near the cliffs of Dover, but Britannia nonetheless. One Pedro Mateus. Hello. <laughs> he, he, he's the blue man of the group, together with you, Shat Realm, dynamic, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. Ah, oh, man, you sound like a robot. Fuck yeah. I pulled that off. <laughs> that that was a that was an effect. That took a lot of juggling at one time. So it would have been a lot more entertaining for you at home if you'd saw if I had like an overhead cam of like yeah. Yeah. To, yeah. So Oh man. Yeah, oh. man, what's up? Tell me. Talk to me. I I I just had an awful idea of like Pedro from the Misty Owls. What if Pedro is King Arthur? That would just be like the worst thing. He's the green man. The Green Knight, yeah. <laughs> Basically, keep me away from all the swords and embedded I, into rocks. No, 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 no. <laughs> See, what happened is you did the uh, Incredible Hulk for Halloween one year, but you used permanent paint, and well. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> What what if what if the Incredible Hulk was King Arthur? I want to see that man. I just want a good Hulk movie. That that that's the crux of the thing, man. So, what's going on? If you um hang out in our Discord, you'll notice earlier this week I just Pepsi challenge screenshot of something I bought. Pedro has the uh, Yolo Bling version of this, but they've made a cost reduced version. Who makes it? I even forgot. EVGA. EVGA. Ah, what's it called again? <laughs> <laughs> the XR one uh, light, right? Uh, yeah, the the L I T E version. Yes, <laughs> they got the new version out without the annoying RGB Blinkatron stuff on it, and it's sixty bucks. What are we talking about? USB USB three capture card that can do 1080p sixty. It's got a uh, UHD four K consumer four K uh, pass through on it, and um, soon it's coming out. I got my order in for it and we're going to be giving it the proper Linux treatment because strangely enough, I'm kind of qualified to do that these days. Uh, looking forward to that. What about you, J baby? Yeah. So I, 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 I had a bit of a milestone. I have made it almost 32 years without getting stung by a fucking bee. Mm. I sat down on Monday morning, to take a shit. And apparently there was a bee <laughs> in the bathroom and it took exception to, uh, to what I was doing and just stung me in the thumb. So that was, that was fun. Did you scream at it? He's like, you're supposed to be in the bonnet. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, there, 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 there was a lot of shouting also in, in other toilet related stories. Apparently I gave my dog pink eye when I farted in her face while I was sleeping. So that's fun. <laughs> that, 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 that sounds like some people trying to explain away UFOs, man. Who came up with that theory? Um, I, I, I did. Cause I woke up cause the dog didn't have an eye infection the, the day before. And apparently I farted, was farting a lot in my sleep. I spent about two hours, according to my girlfriend, I spent about two hours just farting like loud, continuous farts. And apparently one of them, apparently one of them made it into the dog's face. So that's my, that's, that's how, that's how my week's going. How about you, Pedro? I, I don't think I can top that. I, I can't. I spent a lot of this week uh, playing around with the bind <laughs> Um Fixing the um, Apogee duet that you're currently listening me through. Listening uh, me through. And All right. We're starting off early. Yes. Tonight. Okay, got English. <laughs> and um, this one, the Apoogie one which uh, has some clicking noises to it. And uh, Van pointed out to me on Wednesday that it was making clicking noises. So then I plugged it into all the laptops that I have, at least the ones that had Audacity installed. And even without anything connected to it, just USB and it cranked all of the, um, the volume levels all the way up. And it is making clicking noises with nothing else plugged into it. So yes, the, there's issues here. And uh, I did get a thing. Which, uh, there you go. 
It's a stand. <laughs> now, 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 tilt it forward a little bit. I want, I want to see with all the details. Yeah, of right? colors. Yeah. I have about five degrees of angling until everything tips over. Four point seven is all we're asking. Yeah. Four, four, four point eight if you're nasty. Yeah, if you want to live a little. But yeah, no, I, I'm running out of space on this desk, so having them all stacked vertically like that's nice. Okay. <laughs> that, that's pretty decent. If I had something like that, uh, well, I would have something like that if. Like I had wall, you know, something to put it against. Like freestanding, I'd knock that thing over, man. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. up against the uh, the foam pads here. Yeah, <laughs> that that would just be me putting all the controllers on the floor at once. Let's <laughs> 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 cut out the middleman. So, well, at uh, least you know where they are. Hey, man. Uh, yes. I don't think we'd ever be able to get the horse on that type of plexiglass controller. It would protest. No. It might say nay. No. It might say nay, <laughs> but you also got to consider that the court, the horse is already just covered in glass shards. It's like a glass porcupine, some sort of awful echidna. It's the steam Linux the update of, of the week. week. And much like an echidna, the horse also has a foreheaded. You know what? Never mind. There uh, you go. That, that's the, where that went. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got we to talk about the steam decks. Um, so uh, Rock, Paper, Shotgun has an interview out about... Um, the the Steam Deck surprise oh. surprise it's the, it's the it's the talk of the town, uh, and they, they they go on a bit about like uh, more more stuff about the uh, the form factor. Th- one thing they do address that I feel really needs to be at the forefront. They're like, yes, you can hook up a dock to this, and it will output to whatever resolution you want. But if you're hoping to get UHD on the Steam Deck over a USB C HDMI dock, you you're doing 4K 30 low, like that's the 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 GPU in there isn't strong enough. Um, there's also some talk about uh, the whole the 1280 by 800 resolution is the best compromise for readability at that screen and screen and battery life, which is actually a fair point. Like there's a, a lot of high resolution screens. Yeah, a little bit of mice type, especially if games don't do uh, font scaling right. So mm-hmm. that having a having a lower resolution really does uh, stop that from being a problem. Also, very diplomatic about their choice of uh, AMD over NVIDIA. They're like, yeah, we tried working with NVIDIA, but, <laughs> you know, th- what, th- what they didn't say is, yeah, we don't actually have control over that driver stack. So we'd kind of just be at NVIDIA's whims. Oh, man. So uh, what I'm what, what I'm really thinking when I read this article and I, I am not being doom and gloom ish hundred percent. My first thought is when I ask both of you, when do you think the, the, the valve will, what do you think they're going to announce first? Uh, the shipment date for the dev kits for your pre-orders are like the money's due. These things are going out. Or do you think they'll announce that first or they'll announce that, Hey, this is the first delay. So uh, I think, I think they would not announce when the dev kits are going out. We would not, find not, out no, about no, them no, when. No, 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 not dev kits. No, no. Your pre-orders. Uh, but like the pre-orders. The, the pre-order ah, reserves. Um, yeah. Because, hey, we're going to be talking about the dev kits, which mm-hmm. those are going mm-hmm. out, but there's a big honking difference been doing than like spooling up in three to 500 kits versus. Yeah. I don't actually for, think, I don't actually think that they're going to announce a delay. They're just going to keep writing the reserve way that they're doing right now as long as they possibly can. Up until they have enough stock that they can go, okay, it's open to the public now. Everyone can have it whenever that might be. Still, you, you got to think availability is going to be a shit show, right? Like you, you see what it, people yeah. are doing with bots <laughs> with like <laughs> GPUs now. Yeah. Good, good luck. And doing it via the reservation, like they've been doing it up until now works around a lot of the botting and the limitations that they put only one per account and the account has to be, X amount of time old. old. There's yeah. also that. Yeah. You got to keep in mind that they're doing this in the midst of an IC shortage. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. A little one. Um, just, just, just a teeny, teeny tiny. But speaking of those steamy decks, man, uh, dev kit requests are now open. Oh, oh yes. Uh, we did get uh, Alex of uh, Project Heartbeat uh, fame on our Discord going, yeah, I already put my order in for one of the, uh, the dev kits. You have a uh, request form that Valve kindly put up. You can find the announcement and everything else uh, in our show notes. There's a link for the said uh, hardware request form. You need to be a Steamworks dev, obviously. Uh, You need to have that account. You sign into it and then you're granted the form. And maybe you'll get one, maybe you won't. Who knows? 
Uh, right now, we haven't heard of anyone who's actually applied and been said that, uh, yes, you can have one. So we're still waiting on that. But yeah, it, it, it has only been there. a week, though. So yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. Um, what we do know is like, even if you do, do get a hold of one, like filling that out, you can't talk about it. Nope. Yes. Well, th- they're that's, very that's clear perfect, on course. don't give it to the press you can take a <laughs> screenshot of your game running on it no. mm-hmm. and and if if a certain if a certain spanish italian developer gets kidnapped while reviewing or while doing some <laughs> testing on uh on his steam deck dev kit uh well I mean, what can what can you do right all i'm saying is avoid any all expense paid trips to cambridge that you're offered in the next yeah six months <laughs> don't don't call us we'll call you yeah <laughs> oh man so we got to talk about this we talked about this um a little while ago there was an issue with mm, visual aid because no one knows what a steamy controller looks like oh. there was a bit of a kerfuffle a suit of laws one might say with the uh back switchy things that's the uh engineering term for these and uh, another company came out and said hey man we invented that uh, give us some money. And Valve initially was ordered to, what was it, like four mil? Something like that? Four mil, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, there's been an update on that because, you know, naturally Valve took that to appeals. And uh, this is from James Ijamari. And it's like, yo, Valve, want an appeal for Steam Control lawsuit? <laughs> Let's fucking go. And of course, this links over to um, boring, boring legally stuff, which... Uh, Every time I go through this stuff, I'm like, man, grow claw, come back, baby. I went through the brief. I downloaded the PDF, and um, I did not stay at a Motel 6, and I'm not an internet lawyer, but I've been through UGA law school twice, so I'll take a crack at this. Um, what they've established as prior art is valid. The crux of this, this is kind of interesting to dig into and go back. Um, to kind of oversimplify it, to give you an idea of what went down, initially... Valve was saying, hey, man, these like we saw like a 360 patent um, engineering exploded diagram from way back in the day that had something like this on the back and like, hey, all right. So this other company that's saying they have uh, the patent for this, that should be invalid. We got prior art right here demonstrating that. And the reason that wasn't allowed into evidence is because the only way to get to that screenshot, the site that had that initially no longer existed, so you had to make use of the way back machine. Mm. And initially, that was kept out of evidence because it wasn't considered to be publicly available. Okay, all yeah. right, fine. Uh, DYK, uh, you know, the that's why the court d- dismissed it. Because it's like, oh, well, you know, the public can't get to that because the public doesn't have access to the um, way back machine. machine. Yeah. Which is a public-facing website. Uh, yeah. uh, hey, hey, man. Um, <laughs> But in the new thing, uh, DYK has, that's the company that had the background, the back clicky thing. Yep. Um, Baton's going after Valve. Uh, they agreed with Valve uh, that the board wrongfully discredited the piece prior art. And Valve um, basically argued that, you know, that art successfully invalidates their patent. But Well, at least nine of the claims uh that were in the original lawsuit were uh, invalidated and deemed unpatentable. Mm-hmm. Nine. That that that's significant. Okay, there are seventeen that were still upheld, but nine of the claims were completely invalidated. That's did did you did you see the uh, did you see the actual like image in the in the uh, in the PDF about like what the thing actually looked like what the what the prior yes. art was It looks janky as fuck. Oh like, yeah, with like all the little buttons the... and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But. That still counts. That still yeah, counts. It, absolutely. So I guess that, you know, this, this is going to be interesting to see because of course, you know, DYK, they're going to try to work something out. I, I understand oh. that. That is their fiduciary responsibility to yeah. probably, I don't know. They might both be private companies. I could just be talking smack, um, but they're going to try to work something out. Hey, it's good for Valve. I understand why Valve was like, no, we want this. And we've come to that you, agreement. You, you, you yeah. think they're going to try and go after whoever um, whoever had that design originally and try and scoop them up so they'd be like, aha, now we have the patent on the prior art. What so they, now get fucked. What are they going to do, buy Microsoft? I don't think so. Yeah, the Xbox yeah. Elite controller uh, yeah. people, yeah. <laughs> uh, what, what, what? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't think Microsoft is that too happy. I think, they're, I think they have a pretty good enough relationship with Valve that they wouldn't do anything like that. So let that serve as a little bit of a warning um, before you go after. Make, make sure all of your 
you cross all the ducks with the eyes. Mm-hmm. For, uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, w- wasn't wasn't the other part too? Like, um, you you had to like print out a copy, and that was not allowed or something. That it was it, it shenanigans is the yeah, best word for te- um, tech tech illiterate courts dealing with technology problems. Knowing this now, knowing mm-hmm. this now, I fully understand why. You know, I figured initially Valve was like. Uh, you know, hey, you got to appeal just to appeal. But now it's like, oh, no, I get why. Uh huh. 100%. I understand why you, I'm like, yeah. no, we got to get this cleared <laughs> out. Web archive. Let's see if we can find somebody who's not a Luddite and uh, show them how this <laughs> internet oh, hacking it, works, this dark web of the web archive. Did, did you, did you read some of like the Oracle of Google stuff that they were trying to like explain to the, to the judge, like how an API works? They're just like, they're bending over backwards for some sort of analogy that the dude can grok. Then they finally and got a developer judge. Yeah. Uh, no, the, if they, you they want got to the see judge like... And they, he, he, he ruled in their favor and then they appealed it and then yeah. they got the non-developer judge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and uh, if you want an example of like Luddites making um, decisions or in positions of power, look up the um, Zuckerberg uh, investigation and the uh, actual questionnaire that he went through and people asking him like stupid bullshit just like uh, my daughter has this phone and it does this like that that's got nothing to do with Facebook <laughs> yeah when, 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 the, when the judge starts asking like I can't log into my Facebook account can you help me right. that, that, that was that, like that, peak <laughs> yeah that might, 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 might be a little bit of a problem all right. So we got a couple of game updates this week. We took a look for some new games. Nothing terribly exciting came out in the Linux front, but this this is a blast from the past. This is something I never expected to see an update for. Mm. <laughs> Apparently, it was enough of a success from its original uh, humble launch on Linux to, um, well, uh, what was it? 2,000 commits to the code base since the original release. Uh, and um, Info Teddy were the two big ones uh, that committed the most, and they say that they fixed hundreds of bugs. And uh, if you look at the uh, the wiki page that they have for it, what such bug was input delay? It was reduced from one frame to zero frames, oh, and they've actually Playable. added an option to revert this change because player's muscle memory would be broken and yeah if you leave bugs unfixed long enough it, they become features people get used to it and speed running strategies revolve around those uh those bugs so yeah giving people the option to undo that is probably a yep. good thing yeah and i, I mean a lot, a lot of this comes in from just like ethan upgrading everything to the latest version of fna which gives you a lot of the nice graphical features yeah. and a lot more stability better controller support etc cetera, etc cetera. yeah making the making the glitches toggleable is kind of key especially if you're making a game that like people have that there's like an active speedrunning community for i i would hate to be the developer who realizes that like speedrunners love their game now and like oh fuck now i can't fix anything yeah well you got to be careful <laughs> with that i mean i didn't realize that there was much of a speedrunning community for the v- 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 but it completely understandable and uh, mm. some of the big highlights from the update in 60 <laughs> fps mode and that's great and it's got some v-sync out. that's awesome uh, new graphical options okay i'd be interested in playing around with that and more bug fixes than you could shake a pedro at so that's pretty neat we had a uh, developer i always know i have this little mental countdown clock when um developer follows me on twitter I'm like mm, three Two, one. The curator has offered you a, um, oh, developers <laughs> offered your curator account and you own know, like, and they offered a key. So, uh, there's no way for three of us to share one key, but we'll, we'll give it a mention. Yeah. Uh, so this is, uh, Svoboda 1945 liberation and it's kind of neat. Um, you might remember if you were playing, uh, games on literal stacks of compact discs back in the mid nineties, uh, the, the genre of FMV games with, such hits as the Twelfth Guest and Phantasmagoria and Ripper and the so X-Files on. The X Files game, Six the X Files games, yeah. Oh, and, you know, oh, you <laughs> children! Uh, here, here's my friend. I, I like to call it Riven. Yeah, R- Riven. <laughs> I, I, so, so a, a lot of a lot of FMV games had some technical inter, uh, limitations. The videos were interlaced to fucking high hell and 
like fucking postage stamps. Nowadays, video is pretty cheap, uh, relatively speaking, as a game asset. So um, a lot there's been a couple uh, FMV games that have come out in recent history. Uh, Svoboda 1945 is one of them, uh, and it's a mystery game, sort of like Contradiction, where you go around and you start listening to um, to like recordings of people telling stories, and you're supposed to like find all the inconsistencies between their stories and solve the mystery. And there's like point and click dialogue options, and it's it's an investigation. Uh, a lot, a lot like uh, contradiction. And the trick, the thing with this one is they're actually setting it during real events during World War Two, um, and that sort of historical tricky is or historical fiction is uh, tricky to nail. So I don't. It's see, it definitely seems interesting. I've never been that big a fan. Of, I've I've been a fan of watching people play FMB games because a lot of them. Become, I'm looking like, at this guy right now, Jordan, and Netflix. Uh, hire this actor as um, Vasmir. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hoping for uh, for what's what's his dick um, Wednesday from uh, American Gods. Nope, this guy. He's money. This guy. guy? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I, I, he, he doesn't look anime enough. The only Vesemir I've seen is anime Vesemir. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well. Yeah. From the New Gods, and he's also in um, what is it? Uh, John Wick. So, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. He is the uh, continental. Yeah, manager Ian for McShane. that particular that's branch. Ian McShane. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the name. And for, to his credit, I mean, he kind of like plays the same character all the time, which I'm fine with. Yeah. I like that character. But this game is how much is it going to run you in Canadian dollars? How much is this in Canadian dollars? It is twenty bucks. That's not bad. Twenty bucks. I think it's about thirteen dollars in Freedom uh, units. So fifteen ninety nine. I take that mm-hmm. back. Twelve pounds ish. Yep. All right. <laughs> yep. So that is there. Thank you for bringing your title to Linux, but. That's going to do it for the Steam. Yeah. Coming up next, yes. we get really, really rusty squares. Ooh. And yeah. And we talk about a Game Boy emulator, <laughs> man. It's the most excited I've ever been about a Game Boy emulator. And here we are. We need to actually uh, thank a whole chunk of people because apparently no one liked the fact that there was no one in particular we needed to thank except our Patreons because... Your continued support very much allows us to keep doing this, whatever this uh, happens to be. But uh, yeah, no, uh, this week it seems like um, one uh, Eshep and one Arthurin went out of their way to gift us all games, including, um, what was it, uh, D&D Dark Alliance? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have to. Uh, <laughs> apparently we got to do a multiplayer stream of that. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll get into the special <laughs> thanks in a little bit, but we, as, as always, we got to thank our lovely, lovely patrons, the people who are making this. Patreons, where can I go to find that? Patreon.com <gasps> slash Linux Gamecast. Oh my God. Holy you can Jesus. sign up for like a dollar a week and you can get access to our Discord channel. Wait a minute. Are you trying to say I can get all of this awesome content for as little as four quarters a week? Yes. Yes, huh. I am. Damn. You, all you have to do is skip laundry and just wear stinky clothes for the rest of the day. But I'll, I have I have a fix for that too. Stay tuned. Um, but yeah, uh, a little minute. bit more. Too Wait fi- a minute. Are you trying to say you get a lot of quarters? I'm saying I got a roll of quarters. Guess okay. where I stuff them? Oh, that's what the bee was after. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Well, so uh, at two fifty a week, you get access to the show notes uh, a little bit more, and you get the executive producer level. You get the video stream for our pre-pre super chosen, which is the extra hour podcast that we do. We stream it live to Discord. Uh, so if you're in Discord, you can just listen to it. You can actually watch it if you're uh, if you're an executive producer. We have uh, other donor levels. You can buy your way onto the show. RSVP to game streams when we do multiplayer games, like Splitgate that we're doing at the end of this show. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah. We got a store, store.linux. Actually, no, we, we got, we got to, now we got to thank the people. Um, so we got to, we got, we got to thank, uh, yes, marketing. I know what I'm doing. Mm. <laughs> we got to thank Ishep, <laughs> as, as Pedro mentioned. Uh, he bought me uh, Baldur's Gate 3 and these two, D&D Dark Alliance, not Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. That was for PlayStation. And, yes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Arthurin bought you uh, Ritual of the Night Bloodstain, right, Pedro? Uh, yeah, no, apparently he had an extra key. It's like, uh, enjoy it. I'm like, all right, thank you very much. I will enjoy Fair it. It's like, enough. you better. All right. Fair. I'm going to give Eshep. Uh, <laughs> Eshep sent us a little message. He's like, yo, man, thanks for so many years worth of entertainment. Really happy. Go for that one, Jordan. Give me that word. Y- y- Yalv. <laughs> Yalv. I like Yalv. it. Yalv. I, I, mean, I mean, there needs to be two apostrophes in that. Don't, but don't I'll, listen I'll to a it. word coming out of this cana- beast on Canadian's mouth. It, need, it needs you. to look like an, an elvish you, word, Asia. damn it. Stuck with it for so long. Throwing the goats and uh, 
Yeah, thanks, Ishep. That You really didn't have to do that. And I'm sure, yeah. uh, but I, I know that game's kind of gotten panned, which which is fine. <laughs> Here's the thing. We're going to need something to play after we try it again. If you're unfamiliar, we're going through the yes. entire Trine series, <laughs> the three of us. And we're slowly but surely getting towards the end of uh, Trine, whatever it's at for. And Every time we think it's over, they keep throwing me new levels at the end. It's like, damn it. This, uh, the Dark Alliance is, let's face it, the closest you're ever going to get me to a D&D anything with these two yo's. So right. we'll, we'll, we've <laughs> no, already no. picked our characters in the pre pre no, Knowing our luck, though, by the time we actually get to it, They'll all the bugs will the have been fixed. Oh. <laughs> or, or that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh. that, that, that's that's the other that's the other possible thing so uh, big thanks to everybody we, supporting us on patreon uh we also have amazon wish zones if you're wondering about what's going on back here this is for the studio this is our fine upstanding cannibal wall that's how you get publicly shamed for picking up anything in the studio but jordan swang's got one as well along with pedro mateus and if you want to get that in your face head over to linuxemcast.com that's where it's at because it seemed like a logical place to put it but jordan we need to think some very twitchy Twitchy we do. We, we got some. We got some Twitch subs. We got to thank as well. Uh, we got to thank Basil for Basil for his twenty month sub. Katana of Steel for his fifteen month. Nubbin for his sixteen month. And Don M for his eleven month. Oh, and I forgot. I forgot the most important part. Remember when I said you gotta use up all your laundry money to mm-hmm. subscribe to LGC Patreon? Yeah. Well, you can all. If you run out of clean clothes, you can go to store.linksgamecast.com. You Fair can enough. Buy some t-shirts. God damn it! You got a good some, segue out of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was planning. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, so bu- buy yourself some new shirts because you spent all your laundry money on <laughs> subscribing to our Patreon. Uh, we also we also got some stickers. We got face masks. We got coffee cups. We got hoodies. It's it's good stuff. The 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 shirts are reasonably good quality. Like they're not they're not cheapo bullshit. We just like, got a quality upgrade been... on the shirts. Ooh. And here's Ooh. how it is, man. We already had a. a top quality i didn't use like the you know the paper thin ones if you ever ordered yeah. like you know like hey i want to support this and you're like hey, i'm not gonna be able to wear that it'll fall apart i was always you but they've upgraded the quality again to which uh you know uh teespring they shot out an email like yo you might want to adjust your prices because you're not gonna get as much money enjoy it same price i didn't change it we're we're, 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 we're we're doing costco hot dogs pretty much it's like hey man if you, <laughs> oh. you want to wear our nonsense on your body or you want to put one of our yeah, stickers in? No, no, we don't charge a premium for no. Yeah, you there, advertising there, there, for us. That doesn't seem right. there yeah. is <laughs> there is an iron price component to it for and sure. And most importantly, if you're a Twitch sub <laughs> or if you're one of our beautiful party patrons, uh, you get access to our Discord, which can be a miraculously spooky place. But uh, there's plenty of nice idling in there if you like that. But conversations break out more often than most public servers I've ever been mm-hmm. in Discord with, and then. Yeah, pe- people actually talk about stuff like yeah. regu- yes. with some regularly I regularity. Mean, yeah, you, you, you got to say, man, <laughs> there's a hundred percent chance like you, you take a nap, you get up, you're like, okay, let oh man, someone done. Let's yeah, see what's going on here. But don't scroll up. Never <laughs> scroll up. <laughs> that's the rule. Uh, <laughs> no scrolling up. <laughs> and everyone is uh, in there. It's we we have a couple of token Windows users. I think we have a uh, two or three and. Yep. Yeah, that's decent. Scott and Don that I'm aware mm-hmm. of. And <laughs> I think our age range is everywhere from like um like eighteen to sixty. So Yeah, we 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 got some retirees yeah. in the crowd. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. So you know, you know, it's 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 a big tent. Y'all are welcome. Come on in. Enjoy Linux gaming goodness. Can I take the ping? Or the, y'all the, are the crazy. Closing type, the, but the, I'll the, love the closest approximation <laughs> that this podcast can arrive to that. Um, bye bye. Gonna, penguin. Gonna, yeah. Bye bye. Shield penguin. We got to talk about uh, people who are feeling a little rusty. Uh, this is Leafish. It is a Rust based Minecraft client. That's kind of neat uh, because it is uh, supposed to be compatible with the Java server. There's a bit of a blurb in the uh, the GitHub article, the README links. All this stuff is in our show notes. Uh, we're saying um, Bedrock does exist. Uh, compatibility with Bedrock is not a goal of this project. Hey Jordan, They're, they just want to make. Hey, have you heard about Matrix? <laughs> the, the, the open source Discord. Okay, just just making sure, bro. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. Uh, but yeah, so. Uh, Make, making an open source uh, Minecraft client, it aims to be compatible with the official API server. I believe it can also host its own servers as well. And, you know, when Microsoft inevitably kills the Java version, you know, you'll still have uh, something to play with. I'm kind of down with yeah, it now. No, they, I took a look and, you know, this was uh, forked from, I think we covered it on the show way back when, uh, when uh, Stephen and Stephen Arella. Yeah. 
did a version of Minecraft craft in Rust just as a because I can. I'm drunk with power. Rust is kind of neat. I need to learn it. I want to play around with it. And, you know, even on uh, the GitHub page for his initial version, he's like, because why the hell not? Which I fully support. Now, not everything from the original game is supported. That's pointed out. This was branched off with his blessing to continue development and turn it into a real boy and or girl. But the pre-built binaries, if you want that, you got to do GitHub. I just build it from source. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It, if, 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 if you, if you it, want to pull it, it from the CI. If I could figure that out eventually, uh, so can you. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, no, the thing about Matrix was um, the chat apparently is being routed through Matrix and Discord and they're bridged together, which kind of defeats the purpose if you're one of those people who's using Matrix for, you know, the increased security or the perceived security Are as the case may be. kidding maybe? me? We've definitely had more than one person who's like, why don't you bridge Discord to Matrix to IRC? We have <laughs> Twitch IRC in our Discord live <laughs> channel. Too, oh, too many bridges, yes. man. <laughs> too many bridges. We got we to burn some. The uh, Oh, forgot, forgot to mention this as well. Uh, in addition to being done in Rust, all the 3D shit is done via Vulkan, with the stated per goal being uh, better performance under a lot of situations, because, you know, ye olde Minecraft is single-threaded uh, as, yeah. a, as a sort of consequence of its Java-ish nature. Uh, so they're they're trying to they're trying to parallelize it, make it so that you know lighting effects won't bring your system to a crawl. Why, why, why don't you do a um, issue request? And be like, where's DLSS and ray tracing? <laughs> don't don't tempt these people because they're gonna fucking do it. <laughs> Fair enough. Super Tux Skirt. I've heard of this before. It's a game that we play. Uh, we've been playing probably. Well, we definitely been playing and talking about it on the show over the last decade. We've reviewed we've it at least it. two times. Yes. <laughs> we got a new release candidate. And, you know, it's pretty decent. Here, we'll play a little bit of the video. Give me one second. The big one is the Switch homebrew port. So, Ooh. you can, yeah, you can do that. I, I think that's pretty decent. And uh, they, they have the binary packages. They're available. There's a couple of new maps, a couple of new arena modes. Look, there's that uh, satellite in, where's it at, Pedro? Brazil? Yes. <laughs> the one that they're, they're, the satellite of love? They're just letting it, um, satellite dish, I should say, uh, yeah. fall apart into disrepair. But, Game modes yes. and all that, <laughs> and um, SDL implementation, SDL two, yay! That's a good Rocket thing. League mode. There it is in Switch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's on the Switch, and uh, they added a couple of new arenas. They're both compatible with uh, Capture the Flag. You can play uh, your Capture the Flags on them. Uh, Alien Signal with the uh, dilapidated satellite dish and uh, the ancient Colosseum Labyrinth. That looks which like a pain part in the of ass. me is really. Yeah, a part of me is really curious, but the other part of me is going like, yeah, no, I'm going to play that map once and then hate everything about it, never go back. No, we're, we're, we're going to um, do an after show stream of it where we're only going to play that map. Look at the new carts. <laughs> it's Zelda. <laughs> yeah, they, Zelda. they have new carts. They replaced Sarah the Racer with uh, Pepper, the uh, little witch Pepper, and they um, improved the carts and the models for Adium, Emule, and the Gnu. So you you have a fancier models as you're racing around. To be fair, the Adium and Emule carts just look like the Tux cart, but with different colors. So that's good. That that's very good. I'm pretty done with this. Um, if anybody, I guess I need to eventually file this uh, report. Is if you have uh, Jack running and you bring this game up, you're going to be without sound if you're using a Pulse Audio Jack bridge or any way to bind it to also. So. That's still an issue. It's been an issue. And I understand, like, you're probably not going to run into that outside, like, me or anybody who's running, like, NetJack and Jack set up for streaming and all that on Linux. But it is a small problem because I have to have the game started before I bring up the entire sound system. Makes Silence. sense. Silence. So what's yeah. up next? <laughs> well, no, it's, well, it's silence because audio doesn't work under Linux, obviously. No, so audio MDF. doesn't work in space. Ha! Yeah, better. It's, that's true. In in space, no one can hear you in space. Ah, uh, yeah. This so this is empty epsilon. It is <laughs> a uh, it is yeah, Alan Holland um, it, it, Holland. Look, you know you know what? I'm, I'm not high enough to go to Holland. Fine. Uh, I'm I'm. <laughs> anyway, uh, so uh, M empty epsilon. It's uh, it's a bridge simulator, uh, much like Artif Artemis or uh, a couple others. Um, and I'm excited for this because I always want, I, I love the idea of these games. I have never found one that actually plays super well. 
that you can also like stream decently. But God damn it, I want to get some people together for a Thursday and like actually set up a game of this because I just want to do I want an excuse to do my Captain Picard impression. Um, but yeah, you can download it. Uh, they have uh, and they have a Debian version as well, uh, or it runs on Android as well. Um, is it? Uh, the, yeah, and it has a GitHub page as well. It is open source. Uh, so yeah, you can you can take that and give it a build. I haven't yet. I probably this one should looks have. a lot more reasonable because um, I saw a post for uh, Space Nerds in Space that showed up on uh, Hacker News. Mm. I'm like, oh, all right. That's something Jordan would probably be interested in. Then I went to yeah. look what was involved in setting up space nerds in space. I just zoned out, man. I'm like, geez, okay. Was, was was space nerds in space the one where you actually have to like? There's like a live CD image to pop into the. No, it's not that bad, but the compile. I mean, it, 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 you're going to spend, you know, an afternoon getting everything set up, especially when you want to yeah. set it up on a WAN as opposed to just on LAN. But mm -hmm. yeah, this looks relatively straightforward to get set up for a multiplayer. I mean, mm -hmm. I could probably help facilitate if you could uh get the crew together but that would be like a friday foobar yeah and a yeah because I, I, I was thinking like we would need to do something where we can get like everyone's like yeah. camera and like switch between it and yeah uh it, it's it's a bit of a technical hurdle but i do i do want to try it if the, only so i can say if if get, yeah if we can get everybody set up we have the technology so yeah yeah, we'll keep that in mind. Ad advanced technology. Maybe maybe we should drop some acid. There. Acid with wings. I mean, that would certainly explain what happened to the uh, background of that website. Although it does look to be a bit more muted now. When I went to check out the uh, the website earlier in the week, that pink was bright, bright pink. Um, and then I looked at the game screenshots. Like, no, okay, that that's a bit more pastel-y, So, all right, fair enough. But this is uh, Acid Flight. It is a game. A it's an infinite jumper, supposedly, where you have to go and punch the creator. That 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 is effectively it. And uh, yeah, it is. It's on itch. It's free. You can go download it if you like what you see. Or you don't like what you see, you just want to see what the hell is going on. Uh, yeah, it is a thing. It, it That back site... Uh, that back description. Site? No. I mean, while Pedro's stumbling over the rest <laughs> of his sentences, uh, they wrote in and asked if we would cover it. And they did the right thing. Oh, all right. Show email. <laughs> yeah, I cleverly disguised that fact right in the show docs right there. You see it? Yep. I was deliberately yeah. ignoring that. Uh, I was, since yeah. when? <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't uh, leave it. <laughs> so I want to uh, say thank you for following the instructions on the contact page and sending in with a link to the email address. Now, it is available for free on Itch, but voluntary payments will be donated to the Afghan Volunteer Women's Association. That was like, yo. All right, nice. Let's see what we can do that's about that. Give it a little that, bit that's of That's a pretty good cause. Yeah. Uh, yes. I do have a bug report for them, though. Um, I tried getting this <laughs> up and running, um, and it caused one of my uh, rightmost monitor to shut off, and it just crashed. So I think it's an SDL uh, problem. Is, they is say it like using SDL? <laughs> no, it's it's it, it it's uh it should be using SDL too because they do call it out specifically in the download page. I think maybe my version of SDL might be a little too new or something. Ooh. I think. Maybe, maybe something to the tune of that. Uh, I'm, I'm on 2016. If you're listening, Acid Flight Devs, something to check out. Pedro, you're uh, on a retro <laughs> distribution. You should give it a try. <laughs> I will absolutely give it a try. Just not right now. Hey, man, I, I got to take as many <laughs> shots as I can because it's only every three years, four years sometimes that I can say Debian 11. It's new. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> things will change. Let's just talk about rampant insanity. People drunk with power and a lot of free time. Drunk on something. I don't know about power. Uh, Appleby um, is a crazy person and uh, decided, you know what? Let's create a uh, gate level simulation for the original Game Boy. Completely reverse engineer from the die shots of the original DMG-01 chip and make it all work in software that's okay Cri emulating insane. an entire physical Be beyond insane yeah. <laughs> beyond insane yeah uh, uh like emulating an entire physical platform accurately in software is not necessarily the best if all you want to do is run the software that's available on that platform that's why you already have tons of working Game Boy emulators. Uh, but if you want to have a completely working or near 100% true replica of a Game Boy in 100 or so years, 
this is going to save you a lot of money because you're not going to ha have to spend the hundreds and millions Pedro, of all dollars. This does is make me really want to get some die shot wool art. Yeah, yeah that, you know it does. That, that, could, is, that could be it really actually cool works for yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is Some, really well done. And the, the the thing that got me was, oh yeah, no, this is slow. It, it is significantly slower, and there's no audio because that made things even slower. <laughs> so, okay, Love yeah, it. fair enough. I, 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 I like the uh, I like the why is it so slow? Follow up question: Why is it so fast when right? you're emulating every single gate on the CPU? Dude, you it's gotta like, think about like, that. I mean, it's only eight <laughs> times slower, and the dude is right. It's a hundred percent amazing. Now, just on the topic of speed, though. And the eight x slower with a modern four gigahertz CPU. Do you think in the next decade we'll get something that'll be able to run it at full speed, one x? Maybe. I don't know. Um. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, we'll I, probably I, I need guess, a bit of of I an guess, architecture guess, change or risk v maybe. Or 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 some to have arm just thing, throw right? as like, many threads at it as possible. Are you just trying to say that my M eleven and my new iPad Maxi? <laughs> <Both people. laughs> I, I, I'm actually bad. IPC and ARM is even worse than IPC and 486. So the iPad. So I, I, yeah. actually, actually, that that is not true for the M1. There's some architectural differences that allow for a lot more instructions to be submitted at a time. Uh, but th th uh, like th this isn't a perfect solution. Um, the as as the guy says in in the in the GitHub article, there are some physical limitations on the Game Boy hardware originally. <laughs> like. Stuff like physical distance between transistors and the actual temperature of the silicon and whatnot, which are things that you can't actually model in a tool like this. Um, but still, like, again, again the, trying trying to actually read the explanation of this is so beyond and over my head. I, that, I, I, uh, yeah, but yeah. I, it, it, w it gets very technical. <laughs> it's a delightful descent into madness. Of yep. yes, I'm glad something positive came out of COVID. If so, if 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 you do need a GUI for it though, they do have one called Plate that's in development. Oh so. man, mm -hmm. you know what? I, for I think the first time in my life, I downloaded and installed CMake GUI just to check something because I couldn't find a variable. Mm. How do people use that? That it. I'm sorry, but <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. CMake GUI angers and confuses <laughs> me. There, end of rant. Take Two Interactive has done a very, very naughty thing by um, suing enthusiasts behind GTA fan projects Re3 and ReVC. Yes, that's right. They're like, hey, man, they're violating the EULA, which, by the way, is not legally binding, at least here in the States. But you know what? Uh, there's a lot of misinformation going on about this, and I, until I dug into it just a little bit, I was on that bandwagon. So what they're doing is saying that, uh, you know, because it's a reverse engineering project, right? That's what these two projects were doing, reverse engineering, making it run on modern versions of Windows and the like. And, uh, well, they do legally have a way into this to get them. Now, this all comes after after take two got their uh, GitHub repo noped, you know, uh, the, yeah, the DMCA counterclaim spurious through. DMCA, yeah. then, you know, GitHub looked at it and like, nah, put it back up. <laughs> so maybe uh, you, you might want to consider this retaliation possibly, but <laughs> here's the thing. There's two ways to do reverse engineering. One of them in the United States is legal, um, clean room implementation. So you look at like what they did when, you know, like IBM or, Sega, I forget the company's name that uh, redid the, uh, undid the Sega thing, but a clean room implementation is basically you're taking Ghidra or something like that, one team and doing decompiling, documenting that, taking that documentation and handing it off to a separate team, which builds the application that you're going to do. That's clean room. This, what they've done, even by their own admission, by reading through their GitHub page is, you know, comments like, make sure you take the output and name it something fancy. That, unfortunately, has been determined in court through the legal system. Those two tend to go together, I guess. And something you can't do. They can hit you with a copyright claim or intellectual, whatever you want to call it. Fancy legal yeah. stuff. Tra trademark dispute, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they could get them on that. Now, their claim about piracy, that's complete nonsense. You know, they were not distributing any of the art assets, assets. or anything. Yeah. 
So they, they can't really get at that. I want the EFF to like take this and take this one on hard for mm. a multitude of reasons, but I mean, mainly because I firmly believe uh, there's a special place reserved in hell right down the hole from real player for companies like Take-Two Interactive coming after clearly a fan project. But then again, you know, back to the clean room. Uh, this is why Nintendo hasn't even tried to come after the Mario 64 because they did it mm. that way. And Nintendo was like, I'm not going to waste your time with this. This just seems like a bunch of lawyers that needed something to do for take two, man. Uh, yeah, it, it seems like marketing was involved too, because this, the original takedown, came out sh- shortly before they announced that GTA 3 and GTA Vice City and the other ones were coming out on the Switch too. Yeah, a little bit of a timing interest. And you must have a really shitty marketing campaign if you're worried that what, uh, an open source engine re-implementation, clean room or not, you think that's going to affect the bottom line because most people aren't even running the homebrew channel on their Switch. It's bare bones, isn't that right, Jordan? Low, <laughs> I, I don't I don't even fucking fuck around with the homebrew channel because I, I don't care yeah. enough. Um, <laughs> but, you know, lo- loathe, as I, loathe as I am to point to EA as a positive example, look at what they fucking did with OpenRA. They're like, oh... You completely re-engineered our game so that it runs on modern hardware. Good. They still got, they still got to buy a copy of our game. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And and like the, the 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 piracy claims, as Ben said, are complete bullshit. There are a billion arguments you can apply to dismantle that entire thing. And I think to some degree, a lot of what uh, Take Two is doing is they're like, we 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 keep releasing GTA Five because we're flush with cash. We have billions of dollars. We can win this court. We we don't have to win this court battle. We just have mm-hmm. to exhaust their legal fees. And right. Yeah, we could just quash them because we have yeah. money. And and to to Vin's point about the EFF, yes, I really hope they take these guys to task and we get like an actual precedent set. Because I I huge. really want this to be like the EFF. I, I want this to be um what was that um Sandler lawyer movie at the end where he shows up with like six attorneys. But I, I want and that, his dad. Uh, all right, that equivalent <laughs> of let's fight this because um, even even with the way they did the, the nothing malicious here was done. Nothing was at any point done to subvert, yeah, copyright claim or to cost you money in sales. If anything, people were buying these games yes. when otherwise yeah, they because would people not. want the assets to play the new version yeah. that works really well on whatever people, platform. Well, pe- people want to be Stupid able to actually play the game. Idiots. And here's the reason <laughs> we're wound up about this is because everyone on the legal team fucking knows that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. All right. Good let's, news, let's, everyone. Let's go, let's go Software off some Software and first. game development is now its own little channel on Twitch. That's right. You can now sort no more. Gone are the days. Gone are the days of sorting through animal cams that were on science and technology. (laughs) Oh, I was so sad about that. But yeah, I was very happy to see this. Uh, We got a Linux tag before we got this. Look, Wimpy's doing a thing. See, well, Ah, uh fixing the mate desktop. (laughs) That's fantastic. Oh, man, he's killing trees. Uh, All right. (laughs) Hey, man, slaughter him. Yeah, I just wanted to give this a mention because I thought it was uh, good, you know, when... Especially yes. considering, you know, Twitch came out earlier this week with like um, all the bot issues that they they sent out creators an email that said, yeah, we're, we don't have any plans to address the bot, ish, bot issue, which worries me about how much of their counted viewership or membership is the bots, because that's not yeah. a hard thing to take care of. In, when, in play, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, let me say, when, when you have a company like Amazon that has the R&D to like recommend products to you before you buy them. You got the brain there to sort this out, which, but anyway, positive thing that's there. This makes me happy because sometimes I'm in the mood to watch people, you know, do the science and technology thing, build some stuff, solder and all that. And sometimes I just watch somebody try to make a game for the Commodore 64, which. Yeah. And, yeah. and it, you know what? We, we all need more convenient ways of, Scott, of stalking Scott Michaud. So now there's, there's a very easy way to go. <laughs> that's to right, Scott. Don't let that me would require you. Scott to stream some more. Nah, <laughs> come on. Better all not right, let well, me catch you um, in science and technology. That's our house now. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm the captain now. Yeah. But you know, yeah, like, like Ben said, this is good because like, I, I feel it's really useful to demystify the process of software development to show people, no, this is not magic. It's not sorcery. It is just a man at a desk looking for a missing semicolon for two hours because yeah. his code won't compile. 
Indeed. Let's get out of here. Coming up next, it, we're, we're throwing <laughs> chairs at Portal Wars. Portal. But it's, Portal. Oh, Welcome back to the Chair Acquisition. This week, we're taking a look at Splitgate. Not Portal Wars. It's totally not Portal Wars. <laughs> Why would you ever get the impression that it was Portal Wars? Uh, it's developed by one or 1047 games done on UE Engine 4. And it is free to play, so we didn't get any we didn't get any copies. We just installed the game because it's free. Yay. What is it? Splitgate is a free-to-play, fast-paced multiplayer shooter that features player connect or player-controlled portals. This sci-fi shooter takes the FPS genre to a new dimension with its portal mechanics, delivering high-flying multi-dimensional combat. IGN describes Splitgate as Halo meets Portal. Um, I think we, we all gave it the same score, so I guess let's just go down the list then. Uh, let's go with Pedro. We went down uh, the list last week. So All right, so reverse okay. order. Hang on Pedro. one second, uh, Rhett. Bomb clock. Go. And over here, uh, the footage that you're working on, I recorded on the Ryzen 7 3700X with the GTX 1080. It mostly holds 144 to 2560 by 1440 in-game. In the menu itself, it limits it to 60. But um, yeah, I could only get 144 on high Aww. on ultra. Uh, it has issues maintaining the uh, 60 FPS at all. So yeah, that's UE4 for you. The, uh, the mouse, it wasn't locked to the window in full screen or any of the other options. You need to actually all tab out of the game and go back in for it to stick. So that's that needs fixing. Considering it's, it's a Unreal major... Engine 4 on Linux, I mean... Yeah, probably. But yeah, no, in 2021, that that kind of issue needs to be fixed. And as for the fun, it, it's actually a lot of fun. Yes. Uh, the shooting reminds me very much of Ballistic Overkill, but without the forced class system uh, and an even bigger variety of game modes. I find myself forgetting that portals exist most of the time. I do. <laughs> But uh, except for the few maps that I figured out how to get to the other team from behind, because, yeah, it's me. I'm going to find a way to abuse the mechanic. Uh, the <laughs> the jetpack. The jetpack is pretty fun, and it allows for some bullshit kills with the... Basically, the other side of the coin is that you're vulnerable because you have a very predictable arch as you're going. And, yeah, you're just going to get picked off right off the air if you don't kill the person that you're aiming for. Um, I'm not a big fan of the stupid amount of money that everything costs for the, um, pretty stuff, all of the cosmetics, but it is free to play, so I can excuse it somewhat. This is how they make money, so, you know, fair enough. It's just a little too expensive for, it's like 10 pounds for a skin for a character, that, that seems a bit much. And what I can excuse is how the first person shooter in 2021... It's no longer in early access, was in early access in 2019, all the way up until now, still failing to do something so basic that games in the 90s had figured out, like locking the mouse cursor to the window. So it gets you dinged a chair. You get three. <laughs> yeah, on uh, Fedora 3464-bit with the R9 3900X and the GX 1080Ti, yeah, it launches out of the box. Uh, it can hold 60 at UHD, which is pretty nice. Uh, and the graphics, well, I mean, considering your contemporaries here in the free-to-pay loot box shooter, it's about on par. It's definitely a lot less cartoony than your fork knives, but it gets the job done. It's, it's, I, I, what, what the, the art style is like, um, I, I want to call it like quakish in terms of like the, uh, the player character designs a little bit, a little bit more grim darky, um, controls. I mean, it wasps and it feels good. I'm not a big fan of Q and E being the portal buttons. I think if I were going to remap them, it's the the side mouse buttons, the for, forward and back on your on your typical gaming mouse, I think would be the better option there. Uh, because, yeah, like we were talking about in the pre-pre super shows, and in order to summon a portal, you have to take your hands off the movie bits, which will probably get you shot in the head. So uh, not a great idea. Uh, fun wise, I mean, yeah, it's pretty good. I was originally hesitant because I had to play with randos on the Internet for a few rounds. But hey, it works well enough as a game. Also, if you're playing in casual a bunch of people are playing on console and it fucking shows. Oh man. <laughs> I'm, I'm going around. I was like the second or third best person on the casual server. I'm like, I am not that good. I'm, Oh, these people are playing with the controller. That explains it. Um, gameplay wise, it's a little bit of tribes with the, or it's Halo, it's tribes plus halo with a little bit of portal in there. Cause like Pedro said, the portals are so inconsequential and so like hard to use in the game that you tend to just fall back on your FPS <laughs> skills. 
I'm sure like with some fluency and with like advanced strategies, the portals are almost necessary, but I don't think anyone at that at this level is at that point. Um and yeah, the, the, the gunplay itself is like very Halo one. And that's not a bad thing. Um, because it's it's a beloved series for a reason. It's a very solid shooter. And the various modes are entertaining. Nothing too crazy revolutionary, just your standard riffs on like Deathmatch, Capture the Plague. I will give um I I was a fan of uh, shoddy snipers because I like the extreme range dichotomy that um, people did not figure out that you need to switch your weapons in melee. Um, <laughs> and yeah, then there's all the free to play stuff. It's all cosmetic though. I got to admit, I think it's actually a little bit worse with teams because I kept shooting at a guy with a red skin. Cause I kept thinking he was on the red team. Fortunately, there was a red teamer behind him. So I ended up killing that dude. So I guess that, uh, that worked out. Uh, I'm gonna give it three chairs. It's fun. All right, so um, I gotta reset the clock. No, I'm gonna run out of time. Okay, I am. Hack mode. Keep talking and nobody explodes. You know what? Um, outside of having to feed the steam, uh, the Vulcan command, everything worked out of the box. Didn't have any problems with it. And I do say mostly because as Pedro brought up the uh, in windowed mode, and I guess in full screen mode as well, you kind of get to do the double alt tab. You know, if you want to do something mm-hmm. like uh, turn right, that could be a problem. But Look at this, man. These kids made a free-to-play game uh, using Unreal Engine 4 and released a solid, solid build on Windows and Linux. Take notes. Uh, It's pleasantly multi-threaded on my 1920X Threadripper. uh, No issues. Uh, Then again, I was playing at a peasant 1080p, but I was holding a very steady 120. That's what I had it locked at with everything on 11. Very happy to see that. And that's with a non-super 2060. Now... We're going to talk about the fun. First thing I could get out of my system is, you know what? Curse you, Fat Man 25. Curse you straight to hell. (laughs) Now, granted, that's the name of a bot. But, you know, I kept my embarrassment limited to forever alone mode when I was playing this. But speaking of bots, damn. Uh, Even on easy, those bots can pop you clear across the map. And I I was having legitimate uh, Unreal Tournament flashbacks, man. Which I guess is, hey, kind of fitting since it's Unreal Tournament. Uh... It's a free game, so, you know, I'm not going to waste your time telling you to buy it or whether or not to buy it. Just download and find out for your damn self. It is, however, a first-person shooter with uh, 14 game modes. And you know what? Some of them are even fun for a person like me who is kind of burnt out on the first-person shooter genre after 30 years of it. Uh, what did I like? I like Team on- Oddball, Disco Ball. It was fun watching uh, Pedro on Discord going, wait, you can bounce that off people? Oh, this changes things. You There's, can bonk people with yeah, the ball. <laughs> we'll be playing in the after show. Teabag confirms another mode that's kind of funny. And uh, as Jordan said, Team Shoddy Snipers. Very entertaining. And no, um, I'm not going to leave out the portals. <gasps> I'm kidding. I completely <laughs> forgot about the portals uh, when playing unless I needed to get my campy sniper ass somewhere out of the way up top somewhere. And I'm like, all right, portals, I can do that. But all the money bits, all the payee bits, they're, they're cosmetic. So I... Don't I can't complain about that. There are people on the internet who will, and maybe rightfully so. I don't know. For me, it doesn't change gameplay. doesn't bother me. So uh, I also like that you can create private servers. Happy about that. We can create our own little servers and set everything up. So yeah, right at the end of the day, man, uh, outside of a couple of little technical issues that are not showstoppers, a solid three chairs from your friendly neighborhood, Old Man Vin. Yeah, I'm sure we're going to get uh, a lot more nuanced good. opinion uh, after after we we were playing it with the uh, chat realm after this show for a little bit. We'd be like, oh, it fucking sucks. <laughs> it's bullshit. This game is garbage. Well, but, uh, I mean, running around with a disco ball and a bat, I, it's going to have a it's once I played that with the bots a couple of times and dialed them down to easy and I was still getting nerfed. Part of that. Yes, I'm playing with a fucking trackball, which is just wrong. Here's one of my big issues. <laughs> I was talking about this last night uh, during my uh, days gone stream is after 30 years of playing first person shooters with you know just a regular gerbil right that uh non uh, what's the word i'm looking for involuntary movement that jerk when you're kind of surprised to like lock into somebody is mm-hmm. backwards <laughs> is the wrong thing to do when you're not holding it but you're trying to turn so every time i'm like oh i gotta make that you know involuntary move to shoot somebody i'm like way over here i'm like shit and i gotta Boom, then I'm dead. That's my excuse for getting old. What's yours? Um, <laughs> that I'm old and my joints don't work anymore. That's that's what I'm going with. Should we, uh, and I'm oh, the one I, in between oh. and I'm not complaining that I'm old. In fact, I very much appreciated that uh, we got to play with all the console people because I get 
to feel even better about my in, skill. In <laughs> Pedro's <laughs> defense, he is the most sedentary. In Pedro's defense, he's also currently being digitally de-aged by Disney right now. Also, so. to keep things fair tonight, Pedro has to play with a controller. Ooh, ooh, ooh. challenge pissing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I think I think that's gonna do it for us. Splitgate's pretty fun. Go check it out. Maybe don't spend a shit ton of money on it, but you know, it's fun enough. Yeah, try it coming, out. Coming, yeah, coming up next. Uh, we talk about the game we didn't review this week. <laughs> <laughs> it's the end. Can you? understand the gravitas behind those words hey that makes me think like this is the end my friend do you think uh if you had a uh cover band you could call it the real fake doors (laughs) no that's that's if you're doing like a really bad jim morrison cosplay yeah that's what it's real they're all real doors it's just that they're not um well it wouldn't yeah. be a real no, no, thing no, 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 if you no. opened Pedro, it. Pedro like... is going to be the, the front man of a Doris cover band called Windows. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that would be, uh, yeah, no one wants to hear me sing. But yeah, this is a hate mail. And if you'd like to let us know how much you would hate to hear me sing, this is uh, where we'd feature your things. Go to latestgamecast.com and hit the contact button. There's a uh, form you got to fill out, some caveats you got to read at the top. LGC Weekly is the topic that you should select for it to be featured on this very show. Uh, Unless you're a game developer that retracts keys because... Hang on, hang on. I'm going to read this because... Spoilers. Yeah. (laughs) We we don't have 40 minutes, so let me cut through this. A little backstory. Last week, developer uh, sent us uh, some copies... Uh, for, through the curator connect like three things for a top-down racing game ah, okay pedro to tell you the excitement we were having here at lgc about it pedro was the only one who redeemed it um mm-hmm. but you know hey you, you, at very least we could do is give it a mention during the steam segment because that's how we roll hey you can take time we're gonna at least uh give you a plug and let people know that it's a thing and it's coming out well it turns out this developer watched that segment and he was a little sad. He was. He writes in, hey there, man. I just listened to the podcast, and the truth is, commenting on the fact that the download failed initially, I think was totally unnecessary. Now, I'm I'm going to defend Pedro on this. I think Pedro pointing that out, what you did is you mistyped, <laughs> thank you for pointing that out, because it would have fucking <laughs> released like that, and somebody else would have had to deal with it. Now, back to the story. I thought you would ask me for the keys to test the game thoroughly and talk about it. But I have seen that it is not like that. Well, we didn't review it. So it has nothing to do with Art of Rally, with textures or anything like that. And far from it, something more standard to choose a car in a circuit to run. Okay. On the contrary, it is possible the most con- content isometric <laughs> racing game with a career mode elaborated like a green Gran Turismo. I'm sorry, man. In short, you've not said anything about the game. Said a lot about the game. Uh, so I conclude that you have not played it and it sends me greetings, which should have been at the <laughs> top. Yeah. Well, it's <laughs> hi there, greetings. Like, so, so I, I, I don't know, because no, number one, missing depots is a common problem when it comes to games on Linux, right? Like, I, I like abandoned ship still has their temp, their, the depot. Yeah. The, the, on I've told them still time a, and time again. Yeah. yeah so <laughs> it, 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 it is a real problem. That should be addressed, especially on a Linux-specific podcast. Also, at no point did I think did we ever say that we played the game. No, we were very nice about it. Like for I us. played the game. I didn't specifically say anything more about it. That's other because than it wasn't out it. yet. <laughs> I, I guess yeah. the moral of the story here, developers, is, you know, maybe if we talk about the game and it doesn't show up in the chair acquisition, maybe wait a couple weeks because yeah. we have backlogs. That wasn't a other- review. <laughs> no, you see, Pedro, was, yeah. Pedro, in the timestamps, I cleverly disguised the review segment under a little thing I like to call review. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it was in the Steam news, and I told him as much, uh, and then I, something in the back of my mind is like, go check to see if he pulled back the keys. And I went to the Steam curator page, and I went to check the pending keys, and they were gone, so he retracted the two unredeemed keys. Yeah. 
You I know don't, what? I, I, I guess we will not I'm be reviewing yeah. your game then, dipshit. <gasps> maybe, maybe we would have played it and loved it. Now you'll never know. <laughs> well, I don't think you need to give it like personal insults. I mean, like whatever. Yeah. Pedro takes things personally. Um, I didn't hate the game. That's the thing. That's the thing that annoys me yes. the most is that well, okay. I played the you're, game you're coming from that, and I didn't hate it. You're coming from that, but Jordan and I are very much thanking the developer for retracting the key so we don't have to play it. So yeah. we're coming from different sides of this. Also, Absolutely. Like, like, pay attention. I think at the end of the day, <laughs> hey, it's your baby. It's your game. You've spent a lot of time working on it. And you put it out there. We didn't criticize it. I mean, you think we're going to criticize it? If it's got some problems, but we're not hating on your art, what you've done. Um, you're going to have to take good with the bad, and you're also going to have to do a little bit of reading comprehension and figure out that, you know, we're just giving you a mention for taking the time not, to send it. Not just reading comprehension, listening comprehension. Nope. Actually, like active listening. Uh, what, what, what? So yeah, yeah after, after, after the, the thing entire that thing, that you went out of your way thing, to listen to after the entire <sighs> thing, I'm just going to say, man, like I feel personally, we did a little bit of a Neo Dodge bullet gif on this one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine if we'd actually done Said a proper review yeah. and poo pooed all over the game. Yes. <laughs> so let's talk about rockets. Jordan, tell me about him. Yes. Yeah, so this is from Adam. And he says, very glad that one of the five people who plays quick champions on Linux is on the proton <laughs> development team looking out for the rest of us. Also with the new, while well, the new quake, Version being proprietary makes me sad. It does make me happy to see that so many active deathmatch games, after years of looking through the Easy Quake server browser and only that find a dozen it. or so That's people playing. That's what I was trying to remember. Easy, Easy Quake, yeah. yeah. Uh, playing on a server from Germany where my ping is like 200 and I can't even see the rocket trails. Yeah, the <laughs> online gaming has definitely come a ways since those yes. days. Hey, remember when um, Quake used to run in the browser? Yeah. Did it stop? Oh hell running yeah! Running in the browser? Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> well, because it was it was a plugin, right? Like they stopped supporting they, the plugin. Yeah, it was like a Linux yeah. plugin <laughs> that you could run, and they're like, ah, Linux users are having too much fun. Get, let's get rid of that. Oh man, oh man, this <laughs> Mr. Fox Dog in Discord's like, oh boohoo, two hundred ping. You are merely you merely adopted the high ping high one. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, you you really want to see Pedro upset? Ooh. Get, get, I, I wasn't that upset. I was just pointing out that like, you were, oh, I'm you shooting were, you people. were pretty salty. Yeah, you. I, I mean, I'm I was like, salty. I, Pedro, yes, I love you to but pieces. between salty and upset, <laughs> I, you can tell when Pedro is upset because you'll get to. I immediately can see it when I'm always looking over here. I'm, you know, doing eye contact thing, just keeping an eye on these guys. I understand what the resting bitch face of Pedro Mateus is, and I'm like, oh, okay, he's really getting mad here. Um, and we know to dial it back. I wasn't. Not now, not right now. See, you, <laughs> calm your tits is all I'm saying. Rest, wait, re resting pitch face? Yes. <laughs> it's like a resting pitch yeah, face. Yeah, I was uh, salty because I was shooting people. It's like, oh, I have already unloaded all of my bullets onto you and you're still not dead. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I, I get salty at these salty. games for, <laughs> I get salty for good old fashioned reasons. Like y'all are a bunch of cheating hackers and I don't suck. <laughs> It's totally but not that's my the ability. Thing. I'm at aware, all. sort of, kind of, of my own biases and my own lack of ability for a lot of games. And yeah, that didn't feel great. <laughs> it's always Whack. interesting to play with someone who's playing to win, which is good. <laughs> stay, yeah. just stay tuned for more of that if you're watching live. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yes, yes, yes. Sorry if you missed out. We've been playing a uh, spit take in the after shows, but you know what time it is. That's right. Let's cue the music. You can always find us kicking off right here at twitch.tv forward slash Linux Gamecast live at 830 Eastern Standard Moon Time. What time is that? We got a schedule on the Twitches. We also have a schedule button on our web zone, linuxgamecast.com. Press it. It will magically inform you of what's going on. Unless it's Tuesday or Thursday, because Jordan and Pedro are violently opposed to updating the schedule. So just, it's going to be RNG, whatever no, they're playing. No, no, we're still playing Wolfenstein Youngblood. What are you talking about? Forever. Uh, Forever and ever. I changed yours to just Jordan dies a lot. Yeah, fair. So, <laughs> uh, they, what they like is you at replying them each and every week in our Discord and asking them. That's their favorite thing. Now, if you've got in touch with me, I'm just at Vin. 
on the Mastodons, mast.linuxteamcast.com. We got one of those uh, federated timeline type things. And on the Twitters, the big bad evil Twitters, Vinstone, I'm there posting random nonsense. I'm Jordan Swung. I'm very, very upset that it's not burger time because I am very, very, very hungry. But you can follow me wanting and thirsting after burgers on Twitter at the Burning Pool. Or I think can I'm I actually going to make it a point. Burger? To... Yeah, give me a cup of burger. <laughs> Just, uh, give me a cup of ground beef. Just raw, uncooked ground beef. I'm going to slam that. Uh, I'm actually going to try and make it a point to stream some Baldur Gate, Baldur's Gate 3 this week because eShep was nice enough to send it to me. So uh, check that out at twitch.tv slash Burning Pool. And I am Pedro Mateos. You can find me at unaccounted4 on Twitter. Yeah, just chat at me there. That's uh, usually the best way to do it. No idea what I'm going to be streaming on uh, Tuesday yet, so uh, yeah, that will be a surprise. So yeah, just leave the um, schedule as anything generic so that I can literally stream anything. Because it might my, happen. My, 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 vote, my vote is for <laughs> Quake on a New Zealand server. Just update the goddamn game. It takes two seconds. I... Dang. No, <laughs> on the schedule, Pedro. Where's that? I asked you that on Wednesday, and you didn't actually tell me where that was. So, are, are you serious? Oh, oh, God. This, is, this wow. is turning into like a how to Twitch tutorial. Isn't no, it? we're it, just going to go through like. I, I'm not even going to fuck with it. But don't worry, Pedro will be updating his schedule next week. It won't be a problem, guaranteed. Let's get the fuck out of here and roll some credits. <laughs> Fine. Oh, man. Well, once again, we got to thank all of the people making this possible. With your support, we would have to read ads about ball cream and fleshlights and you know mattresses. What? If Microsoft made some ball cream, <laughs> Microsoft, let's take our advisors. Microsoft, 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 Executive yeah. producers, <laughs> Aldeus, Bob, Aldeus, Scott Barbara. M, M, I'm reading Atomic, Mike G, MT, Drummer 7, Holy mm. Toast, and Cockle. Yeah, our oh, Chicago cool. kicks ass little Necky fans, Darkwing Abstractions, our Sea Monsters, Jack Renault, Ryder X Machina, Paul, Veranuda, Drustin, and Frosted Clawman, and Nubbin, of course, can't forget Nubbin. And Death Notes, Death Nova Notes, K, Nova, Basil, Nova, B, Basil, Romeo, Romeo, Sid Vicious, Doom 2.Wad, Gimatron, Dodger, Cheerlings, <laughs> Martin, a Dirty Dean, Rohit, Back, Broody, Dodger, Zino, <laughs> Dementor, Evandro, Kentucky Linux Cast, We're and not our done. fine upstanding. <laughs> oh my god! It's the fuck wall. It's Frank! <laughs> our fuck buddies. Uh, Carl, Mike, Arthur, 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 Wait, this is this is one of the lovely things about people having three different screen names plus their name and yeah. How many times has that happened to you? Like you get out replied and you're like, and then you finally <laughs> find out. Oh, you're uh, you, that that clarifies yeah. things. Oh. Yeah. This, this is why this is why I turned icons off in in Discord. I just go by names now. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, I can only remember Ishep because Ishep, uh, his Twitter handle as E S. It's like, oh yeah, that that's right. Okay. <laughs> Continuity. Right. Die to fire, everyone. We will see you bye in bye. another bye. Linux tornado bye. next week. Brought to you by Helen Hunt. Also, tornadoes. John, uh, Pierce Brosnan. Wrong. I got the wrong bond. <laughs> Sean Connery <laughs> wasn't in Twister. I wish Sean Connery was in Twister. Five dudes.